you guys remember like a vlog a few weeks back where I got a really nice thing in the mail from Canon? Well... I don't know why I sing my sound effects when they're already in there. This is the Canon... What is this called? M6. I don't know anything about technology. The truth is, I've been using the same exact camera, one camera, the entire time since I started vlogging. So, Canon sent me this. Uh, we're gonna review it, check it out, and see if this is the, my new vlog stick. We got another lens in here. Uh, this thing as well. What is this? It's a viewfinder. You know, the good thing is, I feel like everyone always has that tech friend, someone who knows about computers, gadgets, all that stuff. So that's what we have Elodie here with us for today. She's gonna help us out and, and, and play with this thing. Honestly, I still don't know the meaning of aperture, letting light in and out, and uh, we're gonna see uh, the best things about this camera and we're gonna test it out. So what I've been using for 365 vlogs looks like this. Well, it has a big long gorilla pot as well, so it's really big and heavy. That's what I'm using right now. But this is what we're gonna try out today. It's very small, it's mirrorless, which is a lot better because it's more convenient. It's smaller, compact, it's travel friendly. You've seen how many times people stop me or kick me out of places because of my massive bamboo highland camera. This is easy, you can just put it in your pocket and then go. Check that out. Oh, wow, that's nice. It's a macro lens. Oh my gosh. The photo quality looks pretty nice. Now every single vlogging camera needs a flip screen. So that's why this is good because you could just Hey, how's it going? Como esta mucho? Mucho? Mares and pares. What's your spiel? Hey guys. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So you guys can see what this looks like my DSLR. But here, I'm going to switch it to this and then you can see what it looks like here. What's up, guys? Oh, well, this is a lot close up because I'm using a wide lens on my DSLR, but. The colors look nice, though. Let's see the autofocus. Nice. It's fast. Nice. Nice. That's pretty fast. Yeah, that's fast. Autofocus is good. It's really hard to find a good camera with autofocus and this definitely passed that test. This honestly is way easier to use than this camera over here. Now most people use the G7X for vlogging camera, but the good thing about this, this is mirrorless. It's not a point and shoot. The lenses are interchangeable. So if you want to do something more cinematic and stuff, this would definitely be the right choice. I mean, we could talk all about it or we can go out and use it and see what it looks like. So I guess we're gonna walk the streets of we're somewhere in Osaka, and yeah, we'll, we'll do some B-roll segments here and show you guys what it looks like. some shots around Shinsaibashi. She's really good at Japanese. I'm uh, I'm still learning. She lived there for three years, so that's why she's really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, initially what I could say about this is, well, look, the stabilizer is good. I think it's better than the DSLR that I use. I really like the low light. I actually think the low light on this is better than my DSLR. Do you know about it? It was pretty good. I have to say though, it is so odd carrying something that's so light. Like I kind of miss carrying my other one because that's kind of how I stay fit. If I don't have time to exercise, at least I always get my arms in from carrying that all day. But like I said earlier, this is a good inconspicuous one, especially for those people who don't like being seen with a massive camera and you could just, you know, flip this up. It's just like that. Two other things I forgot to mention. One of the best things about this is you can attach a microphone. So this is the same camera here. You can even attach my massive Rode mic to it if you wanted to. Look how big this is. This is what I use. And another thing is it has Wi-Fi. So for all those people who love Instagram, you can just upload straight right after a photo. You just transfer it to your phone. So what I'm using right now is the kit lens, but for that B-roll segment, I used that prime lens. It was a pancake lens, I think. Plus the prime lens. It's really good for B-roll. What are they doing? Where are we going? Why are we lost? Why are there so many people everywhere? I don't know what to do. And why did they get such a bad haircut? I look like a penis. 